Hi, I'm Dan Upsholte, and today we're here to talk about how you can maximize your payload on a flatbed. So essentially there's two ways you can do that. Either you need more to haul more weight, so we're looking at a lighter trailer, or if you need more capacity, we might want to look at a drop deck or a 53 footer from a 48. So we'll dive into them now. How do you reduce the weight of your trailer so you can haul more? Well, the most important thing is starting with the correct flatbed. So an all aluminum Mac is gonna be a light option. Utility has actually done a lot of stuff with their 4000 AE to compete with the aluminum trailer. So the most important thing is starting with the right flatbed so we can get that weight down. All right, so you found the right flatbed for you. What are some options to further reduce that weight down so you can haul more? So number one would be going with an aluminum cross member compared to a steel cross member. You're looking at saving around 400 pounds with that option. Uh, another option is to space those cross members out. So here we have 18 inch cross members. If we're going from a 12 inch cross member to an 18 inch, you're looking at saving an additional three to 400 pounds. All right, so the next spec we can look at are wheels and tires. Going from an 11R245 on steel wheels compared to these low pro 225s, you can save up to 500 pounds. Another option to consider is a closed tandem slider versus spread like we have here. You're looking at saving up to 500 pounds with that spread axle spacing. Now this particular model has a rear axle slider which is gonna add around 150 to 200 pounds back into it. Still savings over the closed tandem slider though. So weight is not an issue for you, but you need more capacity. How do you get that? So there's a couple things we can do. You're looking at either getting a longer trailer, a 53 footer, so you can get more payload on there, or you could also look at a step deck like we have here. Uh, with that two foot step, you're looking to get about an extra thousand square feet of product on there, which will add up in the long run and increase your profits. And that concludes our video. If you found this content helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow Utility Keystone. For more educational content, I'm Dan Upsholte and thanks for watching.